Welcome to Tam's Kitchen. I know, we're in the holiday season. So instead of making anything big today, we're just gonna do something simple. We're gonna do Tam's quesadillas. That's right, quesadillas. And you'll see why when we start making them. And I'm also gonna do an apple banana bread. It's gonna be delicious. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. You're gonna love everything we're doing for you today. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the banana apple bread, only because it takes an hour to cook, bake. Um, quarter cup of butter, melted. Throw that in the bowl. Three ripe bananas mushed, and three small apples, about this size, peeled and diced. Throw that in the bowl. One egg, one cup of sugar. So first we're gonna mix all this together. nice and blended. Then we're going to add the dry ingredients. So it's one teaspoon of baking soda. Get that in there. One teaspoon of salt. And one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And give it all a stir. Stirred and blended well. There, everything is mixed. Everything is mixed nicely. You can use a, a regular loaf pan, like a bread pan. I just realized today I don't have one, so I'm going to improvise and put it in this pan. So we're gonna have more like a flatbread, I think. But that's okay. I make it work. Get everything out into the pan and smooth it down. And now we're, instead of having a, a banana bread, we're probably just gonna have banana apple squares. I always make things work in Tam's kitchen. You'll see. Try to even it as much as possible. There. Now it's ready to go in the oven. I've preheated the oven to 325 degrees. The cake or squares or bread has to go in. Um, if it's in a loaf pan, it has to go in for about an hour. Um, but stick a toothpick in, make sure there's no like, make sure it comes out dry, but the bread is not burned. I'm gonna start with 45 minutes on this one because it's thinner. So there we go. Hey Siri, set a timer for 45 minutes. At 45 minutes, I'll check it. If it's not done, we'll leave it in for a few minutes longer, but it'll probably be done by then because again, it is thinner. We're just gonna make apple banana squares today. Always improvise in Tam's kitchen. Next, Chris Adias. Which reminds me, where's that guy? He was supposed to be helping me. Chris, hey, where are you? Chris. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Uh, I was gonna play a Christmas story. I was gonna watch it. Seriously? Without me? Oh, well, we can watch it together. But you wanted banana apple bread and quesadillas, correct? I do, and yes, I do. Well, I'm making those things right now, so I really can't come sit with you. Ooh. Oh, yeah. How about... You come help me make them, and then we'll watch it together while we eat. Okay. All right, I'll do that. We'll that, do that. That is a much better idea, I think. Put this away. Take, we take care of our DVDs here. We yeah. do. Yeah. Gonna watch a Christmas story. Woohoo! Hey, did you ever get a BB gun for Christmas? Probably not. You would have definitely shot your eye out. Okay, let's make quesadillas. All right. Okay, so the apple banana, what are now gonna be squares, are in the oven cooking. And I've tracked down Chris, and we're gonna make quesadillas. Yes, you heard right, quesadillas. And you'll see why. We, um, we start with the four chicken breasts, cubed, put in oil, and we're gonna turn the burner on just below high. 
and we're gonna let those cook. I'm gonna season them as they're cooking. Salt, sprinkle on a little bit, however much you want. Same thing with pepper, sprinkle on a little bit, however much you want. That should be good. My favorite ingredient, crushed garlic. A tablespoon, uh, maybe two. It makes it taste good, guys, it really does. So two tablespoons of crushed garlic and some chili powder. <laughs> chili powder, about a heaping teaspoon because it gives it a nice little kick, right? And again, it is a little bit of a spin on quesadillas, but these are Tam's quesadillas. It was, it's a funny story. We were at, um, we were at our local neighborhood bulk store and Chris said, hey, let's make quesadillas. And I said, you know what? I've never made quesadillas before. I don't, I don't know exactly what goes in them. So we Googled it and then there was this ingredient. What was it called? Ancho paste. Ancho paste. So we were looking for ancho paste at, at this local bulk place store and we couldn't find it. So then, and this is how they became quesadillas. Chris found seven layer dip. And he goes, hey, how would that taste on them? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be awesome. This is why we now have quesadillas. It was his idea. It was, and it was a wonderful idea. It was his idea to make the quesadillas in the first place, so. So we're gonna saute down the chicken a little bit. Let that cook, and then we'll go from there. Okay, wait. Now that the chicken is all cooked, again, four chicken breasts, chopped, cubed, and sauteed in a little bit of oil with the seasonings I showed you. We're gonna drain it and get all the excess fluid off. As you can see, there's a lot. So let's get this done. There you are, peek and boo. Only because if we don't drain them, then the, the quesadillas are gonna be really uh, soggy. And we don't want that. See all the crap that came out of that? Gross, right? All right, now we're ready to make the quesadillas. <sighs> and I'm missing the Chris. Chris, you best not be putting that movie on without me. Better be on your way back in here. You want to put... We're ready to make the quesadillas, Chris. We need the Chris for the quesadillas. I wasn't watching the movie, no. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get these bad boys started. All right. Hey, baby. Yeah? How easy are these quesadillas to make? They are so easy. What goes in them? We got our seven layer dip. Yum. We got our shredded marble cheese. Nice. We got our chopped green onion. Mm-hmm. And for a little extra kick, we got some Parmesan cheese. Very nice. We have tortillas yeah which are going to be oiled on either side okay and we have our sauteed chicken yum all right show us how these bad boys are put together all right I've, one side has already been greased yeah so we we'll do this side and take a nice dollop of seven layer dip that around. We only want to do one half to start with. And why is that? Because eventually these get folded over. Add some chicken. I feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> you look like a chicken. <laughs> Gotta get my girl some chicken. Ooh. <laughs> I love that song. It was a catchy song. It's stuck in my head for days. <laughs> I just made it up that day. I know. <laughs> All right. Nice amount of chicken there. Mm -hmm. Get some 
Green onion. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of green onions, baby. Yeah, I think I'll have that one. That's you, that, that, yeah, that'll one. definitely be yours. I like a little less green onions on mine. Yeah. Some. Yep, cheese. Yep. Looks delicious. Oh, and some Parmesan here. We'll use the uh, smaller end. And fold it over. And that's folded over. I will make another one. Nice. And I'm going to make it to Tammy's liking. Someone's enjoying the seven layer dip. It's really good. <laughs> it's just real good. I'm hungry. I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> Fewer. Do you like a lot of cheese? I love a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, that's way too much cheese. Do you not have chicken in there yet? No, I kind of goofed on that one. How can that be mine if there's no chicken, Christopher? I guess I'm having two quesadillas this time. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so the timer went off for 45 minutes, so the banana apple squares should be ready. Oh yeah, they're done perfectly. Look at that. So. The apple banana squares, I bet you they're going to taste delicious. In the meantime, we will turn the oven back up to 350 for the quesadillas. It's going to be such a great dinner, baby. And we're going to watch Christmas Story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So Chris has put together the quesadillas. Oh, my gosh. These look delicious. Look how nice and thick they are. Doesn't that look good? So the oven's preheated to 350. So we're gonna stick these in the oven on 350 for approximately 15 minutes. Uh, basically, it's just for the cheese to melt and the shells to crisp a little bit. So here we go. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes, please. Your timer is set for 15 minutes. Can't wait to dig into the quesadillas and watch a Christmas story. They smell great. Oh my gosh, they really do, Chris. You know what, here, let's taste. Mmm. Mm, so bad. Oh my god, oh. Mm. Your guests will love these. Serve them warm as squares like this with a little bit of ice cream on them. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. They'll love it. They'll be like, how did you do this? And then you just tell them you learned it from Tam's Kitchen. Mm. They'll be like, nice. Who? Mm. I think I cut these really big. You could probably even cut them smaller. <laughs> but there you go. Apple banana squares. Oh God, they're so good. Yum. Okay, so we used four chicken breasts, cut them up, seasoned them, sauteed them. It's only Chris and I, so we decided to only make three quesadillas, but what I'm going to do is portion out the chicken for if we want to make them again. Remember, glass snapware, plastic containers, food tends to get freezer burned, and nobody likes freezer burned food. This can keep up in the fridge for several weeks, actually. So there we go. Now we have chicken for when we want to make quesadillas again. Hey, and guess what else I've learned along the way? Yes, I learn as we go too. Dry erase marker, write on what it is. Pop it in the freezer, like I said, it lasts for a few weeks. And then when you want to make quesadillas again, yeah, already had the chicken. So there we go. Now we're just waiting for our quesadillas to be done because I am starving. I was waiting.
waiting for Tam. Okay, don't worry. But the quesadillas are ready. So let's take a look. Oh, I definitely put a lot of cheese on one of these. That should be a really interesting one. And as you can see, folding them over helps contain a lot of the mess. So they flow out one side, but that's fine. Lay these down. Should get a cutting board. Spatula. Oh, that's hot. Oh. And oh. you want to cut in half. Tams, quesadillas are ready. <laughs> and you give me hell. Sorry. We can start it over from the beginning if you'd like. Mm, yeah, I think we'll do that. I, I like watching things with you. Mm. Ready? Yes. Okay. Let's go get some. I'll help you serve them. <laughs> I love this Christmas movie. It's one of my favorites. Next to The Grinch, which we have to watch, by the way. Yes. Can I will we go. watch that after? We can. Okay. I love Christmas movies. Uh, I'm going to take a bite here. Yeah? Those yeah. look delicious. And sour cream. Oh. Uh, oh. Mm. Oh, there's another one. That's okay. You love that seven layer dip, don't you? I really do. That is delicious. Uh huh. He's so gonna shoot his eye out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching Tam's Kitchen. I love cooking for you guys. I love when Chris helps me cook and we always have so much fun in my, in my kitchen. With the quesadillas, I was going to mention earlier, you can add as much or as little cheese as you like. As you can see, Chris added a lot of cheese. He loves his cheese, but this is what happens. Normally, at this point, I do portion out leftovers, but I'm not going to freeze these because Chris has to work tomorrow, so he's going to cut one up and take for his lunch. I'm going to cut the other one up and keep for my lunch. Not the big cheesy one. I'm going to take the one with the less cheese. And these delicious apple banana squares, which, by the way, I'm not sharing. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, and share, and we'll see you very soon with a whole new Pam's Kitchen. Hey, wait, 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 hey, 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 uh, aw, come on. What? <laughs> oh, fine. Fine, nice first.